Alright, now you're probably familiar with the fact that I made a whole one. As you should be. The odds of that are astronomical. They are 0.0083%. Incredible odds. But you're, what you're probably not familiar with is the fact that within that whole one, I played 12 holes where I shot 11 holes out of 12 at par or better. Now the odds of that are 0.0301%. Incredible odds. Now let's compare that to the odds of hole one. And let's see what happens. Because you will see that it is only about three times better of making par or better. 11 out of 12 par threes as compared to hole one. Alright, let's go through and let's examine those par threes. Alright, now on to hole number five. This ball goes over the water, which it really does for me on this hole, but hey, you know what, I pulled it off, and I'm on the green, and I've got a long two putt here. I'm gonna give it a really good lag. It's gonna kinda go down. Here it is, here it is, here it is, here it is. Good job, Chess. Now you've got yourself a putt to extend the streak to five, and I do that. Five consecutive par threes at par or better. Let's go to number six, and here is number six. Now, it's not going to go on the green, but it's going to wind up just right in the bunker. But hey, you know what? That's not bad. I've got myself a little chip shot. Actually, that was a little bit bad. I digress. But I just got a little just chip shot. Just hack this one out. I'm going to put it near the flag, because that's what I do. Tap it in. Good job, Chaz. Now, let's go to hole number seven. Another par three. Made birdie the previous time. Not going to make birdie here, but I'm going to make par. Hey, you know what? That's not bad. Par is good. Extend the streak. Now, the streak will end off the shank. Oh, no. <laughs> I said the word shank. Yes, I did. Oh, well, what happened? Streak ended. Now, on to a week later where I'm playing the next par three, and that ball goes on the green again. This green's going to be fits, but it doesn't. Now, I've got a really long two putt again, and this actually goes up. And watch this break down towards the hole. Breaking, 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 breaking. Read that perfectly. I don't know how I did that, but I didn't. Actually, I did. My serial Q shirt. Now, I don't know the hole in one hole. Can I get another hole in one at this hole? This hole will always be special in my mind. I'm looking at it because the sun's my eyes. It drops down. And it drops down just a little bit left. I'm going to say good shot. Let's go. Let's go like Syracuse. All right. Now, missed that putt. I'm like, I'm going to throw my arms up like I, I knew what I was doing, but I really did. On to number 11, I'm going to give this a good rip. It was downwind, significantly downwind. And it's going to go just a bit left. Wind took it, but that's okay. I'm going to have this putt from the rough. I love putting from the rough. It's a specialty of mine. It's going to go kind of about, about five feet from the hole. Let's say, hey, that wasn't bad. Let's make it in. Yes, that is 10 out of 11. Now a longer par three. And this is going to go just a bit left. That's okay. At least I didn't shank it like I did the previous time I played this hole. I'm going to say, all right, now I've got another long putt from the rough. And i got to do this good. And I do. And look at this. I'm going to give a little thumbs up and say, hey, you know what? That wasn't bad, y'all. Here's 11 out of 12 on the par threes.